What advice could you give to young people in high school and college, given uh, the highest of stakes thing you, things you've been thinking about? If somebody's listening to this and they're young and trying to figure out what to do with their career, what, what, what to do with their life, what advice would you give them? Don't expect it to be a long life. Don't, don't put your happiness into the future. The future is probably not that long at this point, but none know the hour nor the day. But is there something, if they want to have hope to fight for a longer future, is there something, if, is there a fight worth fighting? I intend to go down fighting. Um, I don't know. I I admit that although I do try to think painful thoughts, the what what to say to the children at this point is a pretty painful thought as thoughts go. They 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 want to fight. I I hardly I hardly know how to fight myself at this point. I I am trying to be ready for being wrong about something, being preparing for my being wrong in a way that, that creates a bit of hope and being ready to react to that and and, and going looking for it. And, and that is that is hard and complicated. And somebody in high school, um, I don't know, like you have presented a picture of the future that is not quite how I expect it to go, where there is public outcry. And that outcry is, is put into a remotely useful direction, which I think at this point is, is just like shutting down the GPU clusters because no, no, we are we are not in a shape to like frantically do at the last minute do decades worth of worth of work. We like the, the, the thing you would do at this point if there were massive public outcry pointed in the right direction, which I do not expect, is shut down the GPU clusters and and crash program on augmenting human intelligence biologically, not not for the AI stuff biologically, because if you make humans much smarter, they can actually be smart and nice. Like you, you, you get that in a, in a in a plausible way, in a way that you do not get it, that, and it is not as easy to do with synthesizing these strings from scratch, predicting the next tokens, and applying R R RLHF. Like humans start out in the frame that that produces niceness, that that has ever produced niceness, and 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 in saying this i do not want to sound like the the moral of this whole thing was like oh like you you need to engage in mass action and then everything will be all right i i this is this is cuz there's so many things where like somebody tells you that the world is ending and like and you need to recycle and if everybody does their part and, and yeah. recycles their their cardboard then then we can all live happily ever after and this and this is not this is unfortunately not what i have to say there there you know like everybody you know, everybody recycling their cardboard is, is not going to fix this. Everybody recycles their cardboard and then everybody ends up dead, um, metaphorically speaking. But if there was enough, it, like like, like on the margins, <laughs> you just end up dead a little later on, on most of the things you can do that are, that, that you know, like a few people can, can do by like trying hard. <laughs> but if there were, if there was enough public outcry to shut down the GPU clusters and yeah, then then you then you could be part of that outcry if if Eliezer is wrong in the direction that Lex Friedman predicts that 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 there is enough public outcry pointed enough in the right direction to do something that actually 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 results in people living, not just like we did something, not just the, there was an outcry and the outcry was like given form and something that was like safe and convenient and like didn't really inconvenience anybody and then everybody died everywhere. There was enough actual like oh. We're going to die. We we should not do that. We should do something else, which is not that, even if it is like not super duper convenient and wasn't inside the previous political Overton window. If there is that kind of public, if I am wrong and there is that kind of public outcry, then somebody in high school could be ready to be part of that. If I am wrong in other ways, then you could be ready to be part of that. But like, and and if you if you are like a you know like a brilliant young physicist, then. You could like go into interpretability, and if you're smarter than that, you could like work on alignment problems where it's harder to tell if you got them right or not, and 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 other things. But but most mostly for the kids in high school, um, it's like yeah, if, if it if if you know yeah, like be ready for to to help if Elias Yudkowsky is wrong about something, and 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 otherwise, don't put your happiness into the far future. It probably doesn't exist. But it's beautiful that you're looking for ways that you're wrong. And it's also beautiful that you're open to being surprised by that same young physicist with some breakthrough. 
it feels like a very, very basic competence that you are praising me for. And, you know, like, okay, cool. Um, I, I, I don't think it's good that, that we're in a world where that is something that, that I deserve to be complimented on, but I've never had, I've never had much luck in accepting compliments gracefully. Maybe I should just <laughs> accept that one gracefully, but sure. Well, thank, you, thank you very much. You've painted with some probability a dark future. Are you yourself just when you, when you think, when you ponder your life and you ponder your mortality, are you afraid of death? think so, yeah. Does it make any sense to you that we die? Like what? There's a power to the finiteness of the human life that's part of this whole machinery of uh, evolution. And that finiteness doesn't seem to be obviously integrated into AI systems. So it feels like almost some some fundamentally in that aspect, some fundamentally different thing that we're creating. I grew up reading books like Great Mambo Chicken and the Transhuman Condition, and later on Engines of Creation and Mind Children. Um, you know, like age age twelve or thereabouts. So I never thought I was supposed to die after eighty years. I never thought that humanity was supposed to die. I thought we were, like, I always grew up with the ideal in mind that we were all going to live happily ever after in the glorious transhumanist future. I did not grow up thinking that death was part of the meaning of life. And now... And, and now, I still think it's a pretty stupid idea. But You, there you is... do not need life to be finite, to be meaningful. It just has to be life. 